Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to give my honest thoughts on how the project is being ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out the 10th most popular project in all games right now. That is Zoo Tycoon the Board Game. You're a zoo in a box with more than 230 animal meeples, a highly thematic board game experience for two to four players. Uh, so I see what looks like a card right here with a good deal of stuff going on. I see a, a gorgeous looking meeple there, at least I think. Uh, I'd like to be zoomed in just a little bit. I think it'd be great if we could just cut out some of the outside. Uh, I'm sure once I get it zoomed in, it's going to look much better. And I'd also like to know the mechanisms too. Like what, I'm assuming this is an engine builder, but what kind of game is it? Hey, hey, Jeremy, how's it going? So Zoni raised $226,000 to a spectacular 23 days left to go from Switzerland. That's not a country I see too often. That's awesome. Uh, as always, when you go with the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? And the more I see that card, the more I like what I'm seeing. That looks like a very, very multi-use card. Mm, great job showcasing that card. Maybe a little bit bigger on the main image, though. Let's go. Let's go, Battlehaven. Right into the components. Cool. Woo! I want to see that. I want to see that. Welcome to the world of Zoo Tycoon, where you get the real zoo experience. Thanks for visiting us today. Here you... That was, that was a lot. So everybody's got their own little boards giving me Dinosaur Island style vibes a little bit. Uh, not necessarily because it's the same game, but just like, I, I like that. Looks like it's a table hog a little bit. Not to say that a bay. Wait, Today, wait. here you can choose from 34 unique species. Wait, 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 wait. How is that? How does that work? Are there holes in the cards? What's going on here? That was a unique mechanism. You got me excited. Demand and supply constantly change. Build new, attractive enclosures to fulfill each species' individual needs. Mm. Knowing that a strong animal welfare also increases the chance of rare. They let me one more. I want to know what these cards are in the middle. You just like what was that? I did, it was this thing right here that looked like cool. I love what they're showing me. It increases the chance of rare offspring. Wow, that looks like a lot of bookkeeping, um, which I like. I'm not a big I like I like that. There's gonna be a lot of balls juggling in the air. And the bottom line is if you're a fan of something like that, I think they did a good job showcasing this. Um I do worry about all those slipping off though. That's one thing that comes to my mind. How all detrimental is that to the game? All of this is key because it generates popularity and bump. Same there too. You know, one 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 bump. Um, so hopefully that they have an inlaid board option and deluxe something like that That's the first thing that's coming to my mind with all these cool moving parts and pieces and all these little chits on the board is Bumpage because I'm a big bumper Buzz. However conservation really matters here, too How you will manage this balance wow. is completely up to you and will also be reflected in your zoo mm, There's it will you invest in food booths and gift shops to increase your budget or use the limited space for parks, educational booths, or conservation centers? Will you choose big, popular species to focus on national park cooperations and breeding programs? Oh, points. Or do you have a heart for highly endangered species and want to reintroduce them into the wild? You see, we really need your expertise There's a lot here. going on there. So, let's not wait any longer. Support this campaign now and get... This looks cool, just heavy. Agreed. Agreed. This was definitely a little bit more than I was expecting going into it. And I'm all about that. Access to your zoo in a box with over 230... I honestly feel like we should have mentioned that this is probably going to be 90 to 120. I'm just assuming at the very minimum uh, on the marquee. I always think the time link's good to have because uh, let me know it's a medium weight game going in. The medium animal plus, maybe. Who knows? And the Kickstarter exclusive giant panda. Mm. Thanks a lot and enjoy your trip to the zoo. Do I want it? Yeah. How much is it? Don't know. Hi, oh, I'm Sam, hey, cool. I'm Mark, and welcome to our sixth Kickstarter campaign. Can you do it? There's the three questions. Always convince people. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Can you do it? Yeah, it's a sixth Kickstarter campaign. I immediately feel good. Do I want it? Yeah, it looks like a really interesting game. How much is it? Don't know, but I do know I want to get it on Kickstarter, so I get that panda. After almost three years in development, we are finally able to proudly present to you Suit Tycoon the board game. This campaign. I hope that is the size of the box. If that is the size of the box, I am. I'm. I'm. I'm loving that. Because why do we need the massive boxes? It's a dream coming true for us. Since as kids we played Zoo Tycoon for hundreds of hours, this beloved game series really holds a special place in our hearts. So if you like board games, Zoo Tycoons, or animals in general, then this is your game. Thank, Thank you, you for your support. support. Cool. Uh, do I want it? Yeah. Can you do it? 
feeling good? How much is it? Hopefully it'll be around the bush when we get to the price. Previous project, so I'm assuming that's Mark and Samuel, the two in the video, potentially. I'm one of the co-founders of Tracer, and since I have a master's degree in business administration, I'm responsible for the organization and marketing due to my great passion for drugs. I like that. I like that. It, you know, like, in other situations, that might seem like a humble brag, but no, in this situation, it's like, good. That That's good. That's what I would like to hear. Oh, the person, one of the people in charge of running this has a master's degree in business administration? I feel more comfortable. Then if it's like me, when I put up my game, yeah, one of them's uh, a preschool teacher. It's like, oh, okay, what, what, what? Due to my great passion for drawing, I'm also the art director of our board games. I'm a huge fan of everything related to blah, blah, blah. All right, let's check out the previous created, make sure those are out. World map, two-player game, okay, puzzles, final campaign. We're just making sure people got their stuff here. That's what we're always doing. So updates, made, uh, made some money on them puzzles. Hey everyone, for final update, June, people got their stuff, great. So it looks good. Love Tycoon Games up all thanks to Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm curious how well this will translate to the board. Likewise. Likewise as well. It seemed like a lot of bookkeeping, which I, if you could pull it off, it's really good. And I think it can really enhance a game. We're alive again, Kickstarter launch, plus one question, all backers, our next project. So yeah, the people got this stuff, I'm assuming... Received my reward today in Thailand seven months ago. We played a game where we ran on resource tokens. Cool. And once again, what I'm checking for here, people got their stuff. And the creators are responding. It looks like good customer service. So you know what? I feel comfortable. Do I want it? Yes. Can you do it? Yes. How much is it? Hopefully, it'll be around the bush we get to the price. Because right now, especially with that small size box that you showed me in that personal touch aspect of the video, I'm expecting a reasonable price. I'm expecting that I might get out of this Kickstarter campaign paying less than $1. Now, granted, there's 200 meeples, so maybe not, but uh, I'm, I'm thinking reasonably. Oh, 120 to 180, so now, so, oh, that's the wrong one. Now I most definitely feel like that's a misstep not mentioning that in the marquee. When you are two to three hour heavy, there is a very specific market that is going to be interested in this game, and they might not assume that you are that game just from looking at like when i look at this game right now yeah when i look in the card i was like dang there's a lot going on in that card but when you're just looking at it from a glance you know when you're just window shopping on kickstarter uh i don't feel like that message could have been i feel like two to three hours definitely something you want to convey like right here bam two to four players two to three hours and you're going to have a very specific group of people interested uh six unlock stretch goals the board game two to four players and you might also have people that just interest just because you know two to three hour games they're they're not as frequent as you'd think there's a lot well two to three hours games where they honestly say that they're a two to three hour game let's let's correct that there's plenty of 90 minute games where you're like this is a two to three hour game uh want to learn more about this game in this video mark and samuel the game's designers answer some interesting questions give you behind the scenes look at the development that's cool i mean that's nice i'm looking for more of the the gameplay how to play but this is good it's great to have here contents one game one rule booklet one scoring board, I'd like to know the size, one zoo market, one zoo market share. So that that's the board, and it just changes. Interesting. So it's not actual cards you put on the board, it's the board itself. I would I that's fascinating. Uh by the way, quick shout out to uh Let's Build a Zoo, currently on Xbox Game Pass. It is outstanding. It's also on Switch. It is a heck of a lot of fun as long as you don't mind dark humor. Four zoo boards. Four staff boards, eight overview cards. So now we're giving me the centimeters and inches would be great as well because I imagine the majority of the people here are from the United States. Always do the double check there because sometimes I'm wrong. Not in this case. Uh, 84 animal cards, 21 per player. Ooh, lots of stuff on those. Lots of tokens. Okay, maybe maybe my, my dreams of going out of here less than 100 bucks are going away. We're, I'm looking... I'm getting the, uh, the Vital Lacerda kind of feel almost here with how they're marketing this game. Very nice looking components. Lots and lots of components. Two to three hours. Even though this box, uh, actually, you know, maybe it's, uh, maybe not the Talisorda, but the um, Feast for Odin. That style box. Is that what this is? This is tons of components, though. Hold, just hit me with the price already. Look at those. I'd love to see these zoomed in, but dang, oh my gosh. Cool. Lots of stuff. Ooh, a starting player marker. Upgrade by stretch goals. Cool. That's a cool stretch goal. I'm excited for the stretch goal area now. Well, that's not the pledge level we're getting. Oh, my mistake. We're getting the Deluxe Kickstarter exclusive one. If you choose the Deluxe Edition of Zoo Tycoon, the board game, all your 234 animals will receive a beautiful, lifelike screen print on both sides. Foolish of me to think there'd be one pledge level here, because that is not how Kickstarter works. People don't make one game anymore. 
they make two. The fancy one and then the not fancy one. Why Kickstarter? The Kickstarter exclusive content will be part of the Kickstarter print run. Other Kickstarter dependent print runs will not include these contents. As with our previous game, Zoo Tycoon, this board game will not be available in worldwide retail, but most in a few selected country. so you're not going to be able to pick this up at Target. That's confirmed by hundreds of players questioned. The price of the game is very fair. As confirmed by hundreds of players questioned, the price of the game is very fair. Okay, that's, um, that's an interesting, that's a very aggressive sentence there. Uh, as confirmed by hundreds of players questioned, the price of this game is very fair. We're telling you this. Uh, the price of the game after the campaign, e.g. on our online store at conventions, will certainly be higher than here on Kickstarter. And if the campaign is not funded, this game will not become a reality. God, feels like a $110 price tag. Battle Haven, I think, you know, I, it's it just, I think, I think you're right about that. I think you're right about the nose. Or maybe... 99 but like 130 msrp let's see what we got in zoo tycoon the board game the goal is to find the perfect balance between popularity i get it i just i want to see the um, cool this is all good stuff i just want the price now at this point i'm ready to talk brass tax and yes i know i can go to support but if you're on ios or on mobile which is a huge chunk of the people who browse kickstarter they don't see that so uh it should always be in your story rules click here for the english german rule booklet full rules explanation hour 33 okay Oh, not, it's a great video. I'm not going to diminish that video in any way, shape, or form. That's a great video, but it's not the video you're hoping for. Let's be honest. You're hoping for that 30 minutes, like John Gitt's game style video. The the, the Richard Ham, not the Richard Ham, but the uh, the Rodney run run through. Not the, Jesus, Christmas. I've had a really long day. Uh, sorry. Quackalope. I'm getting my names mixed up. It's all very good. Very good if you like Euro games. It's very good. Very good if you like Euro games. Where you're planning things out and you're taking the opportunity to really get the most points per play. You're going to love this game. So min-max style game. Okay, I actually like that quote. That lets me know... That lets me know a good deal about this game. Granted, in a two- to three-hour game, I would hope that is the case. Uh, everything you need to know. Right now, this is, that's not a gameplay, though. Hello. So it's not what I need to know. Right now, this is an excellent game that gives me a strong feeling of managing a zoo. I really enjoyed this experience. Four out of five. Okay. Hey, I'm Alex Mack. Now we'll generate... All right. Zoo Tycoon is a thematic, puzzly, and wild. I, I they just tell me it's good. It's thematic, puzzly, and wild. So it's a puzzly style game. I do like the fact that it's mentioned that it's puzzly. Um, board game review, Arc Nova 2.0. Ooh, yeah, that's what people start doing. I need to do that. Uh, board game garden. Oh my goodness! I just gotta say it now. Francis and I really, really enjoy this game. Like, I need more out of the quote. <laughs> Once again, I don't put it on board game garden. I put it on them. It's like that quote. It's just it's fluff. It's fluff. You can interchange anything for that. Uh, Zoo Tycoon, the board game, Kickstarter preview. Uh, stuff things. Zoo Tycoon preview. Is this, I just want the gameplay. Where's the gameplay? All the people got it. Nobody shot. Just shot a gameplay. There it is. No, it's not. Maybe it is. I think that's the gameplay. That's a German, though. So that's that's really not... That's Hunter and Kron. Not Hunter and Friends. Sorry. Uh, Zoo Tycoon NL. I don't know why I'm apologizing. I don't feel like I touched a nerve there with any of you. If I did, uh, let's talk about it. That's weird. To kind of wrap it up, I think there are many very interesting things in this game. We definitely had fun playing it. To kind of wrap it up, I think there are very many interesting things in this game. We definitely had fun playing it. Okay. More to come. Rewards. So here we go. 80 bucks! Hot diggity dog! That's a great price! Why did we think so... Oh, that's the deluxe. No, I still like... I was still... I was fine with the 80. I don't need the 25 just to get the pandas. I'm very curious. I know this is going to be the most popular, because it always is, because this is just Kickstarter, but I feel like that $80 price point is a dang... Mm. Let me rephrase this. It's less than I was expected. I was about to say it's a dang good price, but no, it's less than I expected because at the end of the day, gameplay-wise, you know, like when did we just say that it was okay if there's two to three hours and we just jump up to eighty bucks? Like, and it's just not not singling out them. It's just it seems like that's the thing now. Um, the deluxe edition is Kickstarter exclusive. Oh, so there's more than one then. So what is this? No, oh, this is if you get two of them. Let's check out the most popular. So two hundred sixty-one people just wanted. To, oh, that's the dollar. All right. 173 people getting the base game, and then 1507 getting the deluxe one. Okay. Makes sense. Lots of drop-dead gorgeous meeples. Three backers. 59 backers. Wow, on the double. Go you. That's a great number there. Retailers, shipping. Uh, I select a short overview of the shipping cost for all pledges. Equal opportunities. We have pledged much effort. Just get, Can I just get the price? U.S. one game, four kilograms. Uh, what's that in pounds four kilograms to pounds because i expect this to be a very heavy game i mean with all eight pound game once again yeah i feel like companies we, we should start spotlighting that 
You know, because that, that sets me up for a high shipping rate when you tell me it's an eight pound game. Uh, and that's, that's, oh my gosh. Oh, that's if you get two games. It's a 16. Never mind. Uh, Ducks thing. Why is, so there are two pledge levels, but there's only one thing is shipping. Not a fan of that. I always feel like it's nice to, because presumably, does this one weigh more than that one? No, because they're just screen printed, right? Hmm. Okay. I take that one back. 75,000. It's a reality. We get the cool thing here. The zoo board receives an alternate design. Savannah theme. That's neat. Not quite sure what that means, but that excites me. 10 additional enclosure tile designs. Rainforest. Uh, so I will, I feel like they did a good job on these stretch goals of, of like telling me enough about the stretch goal to get me excited and understand what the stretch goal is, but then at the same time leaving me wanting to know more. So big kudos on the stretch goals, aside from the placement. I hate the placement of it, like all the way buried down at the bottom. The zoo boards received an alternative design, rainstormers themed, cool. Male and female gorillas, awesome. Their own individual shapes, so just more distinction. The orangutans get their own decision, well, awesome. All four zoo boards now have a unique design. That's my fav my kid's favorite animals to see at the zoo, the orangutans. He loves how similar they are to us sometimes. We'll, we'll, we'll sit there and watch it for like 30 minutes. He just, he eats it up. Male and female African lions receive an individual shape. So these are just deluxifying the games, making it nicer. I like this. Um, tile designs. So it doesn't look like we're adding much to the game, really. It looks like it's mostly just deluxified, which that's kind of, that's kind of what's supposed to be, right? Uh, because the uh, the big argument, and I don't know if people even still use this argument that much, was the big argument against stretch goals a lot of the time was they would you would add gameplay aspects to the game, and sometimes it would feel just terribly uh, broken, <laughs> and not not necessarily uh, play tested enough, and especially early in Kickstarter stretch goal history, like there's there's some games where you're like this feels this feels very stretch goaly, uh, video things stuff. Thank you. Officially licensed, got it. Xbox, Microsoft, good stuff, cool. Made me feel comfortable. Yeah, because I guess this is a video game. All right. FAQ updates, comments, give this one a grade. Will there be a solo mode? No. Sam and Mark have never played a game solo. For this reason, we have no experience in this area and can't assess what is good or bad solo mode. However, we're pretty sure that Duke Kaikun's board game would be solvable as a solo game. If you'd be interested in developing a solo mode for a game, please contact us. Wow. Cool. So, like, hey, you want to do it? Sure. <laughs> Go for it. We'll throw you a game or two. Is that included in the product price? Yes, that is the case. In the shipping, wow. Was that, uh, I, I kind of glossed over, honestly, uh, the shipping. Because once again, I was just like, hey, this is an eight pound box. So I feel like they did a great job on the shipping. Uh, I had to look to see if it was an eight pound box. So what is it? 25 bucks. So now we're looking at 105 bucks. So 110, right on the nose. I hate that the stretch goals are so low. Agreed. Because they're very exciting stretch goals. They're fun stretch goals. They help me have a better... You know, it makes the value feel better. It makes the game feel more distinct. It makes it feel like this is going to be a one print run type of game that maybe it does another print run for an expansion. Like, uh, it feels like a food chain magnet. Maybe, maybe like that to me. Like one of those style games. And that's a great, that's a great lane to be in. Because that market, they will buy your game consistently. Uh, will there be a French, Spanish, Dutch rule book? At least, at least that's what I've heard from publishers. Let, let me rephrase that, uh, because that's that's a very distinct audience. There is no shipping option for my country. Why is that? Okay, got it. Updates. Six stretch goal unlocks. So twenty three comments, twenty eight comments, two hundred and forty comments. Hercules, Hercules. We got ourselves some great engagement here. What animal are you missing in our game? You want to know how you get a lot of comments and a lot of engagement? You ask the question in the title of the update. And the question you're asking is one of the main selling points of your game. 220 meeples. Which ones are we missing? That's fantastic. Ask questions. Yeah, beautiful. And then the engagement too. Like these ones, are they still asking questions? This is 28. Many of you are huge Zyku fans. Uh, fingers crossed that the orangutan will follow soon. Many of you are looking for the, an extra of the series. Therefore, I have the question: What is your favorite Easter egg in the game? So once again, they are market. They're asking a question, and this is a very specific question. Like, if you really think about this this, this question, hey, if you've played this game, not just what did you enjoy about it or what do you remember about it, but what's your favorite Easter egg about the game? Like, I can remember how much I like Conkers, but I don't remember the Easter eggs in the game. So this is a very specific question, and they still got great engagement. You know, 24 comments, and, and mostly it's, wow, that is... 
<laughs> that is that's hardcore. Love it. All right. So they cl I love a uh, great great right there. I uh, just completed a two-handed two-player game, a tabletop simulator, about 2.5 hours. Obviously, it took longer than a normal two-player game, as I was doing both build phase. I tried two very different strategies, with one side focusing on L2, L3 animals, and the panic conservation, the blah, blah, blah. Suggestion. Uh, quick rules question. Do animals uh, do have you could ever consider including a tiebreaker where the scores to the type players from the thing? Cool. So people trying out the game, that's why I love having tabletop simulator, too. Like, that just makes you feel way more comfortable on the candy do it than someone sat down and played a two-player hand of this, and they were like, yeah, here, here's what I think about it. Uh, for me personally, no, please don't make the green even darker. So they're in here, they're responding. It looks like great customer service. Can you do it? I feel comfortable. So, final grade for Zoo Tycoon the board game. Do I want it? Yes. I think you have a product that a lot of people are going to want. Building a zoo is just inherently a fun idea. Plus, the components, they don't seem out of bounds. They don't seem like crazy, stupid, ridiculous. Sometimes we see Kickstarter components like, you really need those components. But this, this one feels natural yes these could be chits these could be tiles but it's not 1991 grandma so we're going with the animal meeples and they look really good they're active they're engaged on the can you do it so do i want it yes can you do it yes how much is it the price uh i feel like i feel like it's very kickstarter reasonable you're in and out the door 105 bucks right about no you're not because you're gonna get the deluxe game aren't you so now you're at, you're at like 140 yeah so we're up we're up there in that vitalis range it's an eight pound box though it's big shipping and it's one of those games it could be like here's here's what i have to say about this game go 15 years from now and this game tell me you would be shocked if it was a grail game to a lot of people and i don't think it would and with a game like that that so oof 140 yeah battle haven it's it's rough it's rough um so final grade on this one i feel like they still did a great job despite the fact that at the end of the day that price that's a tight that's a tall order i might specifically market a little bit more to two to three hours but maybe they don't want to because there's the other thing too uh I, I didn't play zoo tycoon how hardcore is it are you going to scare off casual video gamers who remember zoo tycoon by saying it's a two to three hour game no i don't that maybe not i don't know that's an interesting one let me know what's in the comments below either way i still think they did a a great job spotlighting this game uh i'm gonna go with a b plus on this one that 140 price about the only like if that was if that was a smidge bit lower i think this would be in the a range but hey two eight pounds of wood what do you what do you expect so let me know in the comments below it's your final grade for zoo tycoon the board game and if you're enjoying the content please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below as i'm trying to reach 15,000 subscribers uh at some point it'd be, it'd be great it's just that's the number and then i'm out no I'm not kidding i'm gonna keep going uh so it's fine <laughs>